Okay. <clears throat> Welcome back. Recording this stuff is becoming more challenging than I thought it was going to be. It actually uh, isn't uh, is it cooperating like you'd think it would. Which, you know, I, I get it. I'm asking it to do things that uh, it probably doesn't want to do. But that's okay. Alright, so this is Parallels running uh, Windows 10 ARM edition. So we've got uh, we've got some challenges here. Right now we're getting some mouse weirdness. That seems a bit better. I had to up the mouse sensitivity a bit. It just doesn't want to end where I want it to end. And that doesn't... That should be better. Maybe this needs to go down. Yeah, the mouse just seems to drag a little bit. Alright, let's turn this down because this is getting kind of kind of loud. Alright, so the last time we ran this in crossover and we got about 3 FPS. Now we're running it in parallels and we're getting 30 FPS with 70 ping. And the bandwidth is, is way lower, so I don't know if that's good or bad, but we're not really doing anything. There's actually been a couple people hanging out on this planet. Uh, we need to get some skills on the bar because we did that in the last one. Not this one. And uh, we're going to die quick if we don't. So we just want to do some uh, basic combat. Pretty much that's what we need. I don't think we really need much. Uh, we'll just do that one as well, just in case. Okay. Again, that mouse just isn't picking up. Like one would like. Seems to do okay, and then you... Ooh. Get a little... Okay, we can take this macaw. Mogax. Targeted, so I'll just... And down he goes. I mean, nothing too terribly hard here. Still getting great for frame rate. Nothing is, uh... Really slowing us down here. All right, not a big deal. Everything works great. There is one problem. See this guy's face? Everybody's faces looks like this. Now, there's some forum stuff about turning off shaders and whatnot. I'm sure I can figure it out given time. But uh, the option in here...
I think it's in the launcher. Possibly something in here with the uh, VOD manager. I don't know. Nothing we're going to change here is going to make any difference until we log out. But if you can deal with not being able to see faces, this is running pretty flawlessly. Let's go back to somewhere populated and see if the frame rate drops. <clears throat> now, everybody's faces is, are like that. Uh, most of the bugs that I've seen say that uh, it's certain races that have this problem. But... Well, that guy doesn't. But the Zabrak does. It's a, it's a texture issue, I have a feeling. And somebody said it was down to... That's probably because they don't have facial textures, per se. Uh, it's probably something down to a DirectX configuration. Needs to change. Uh, that guy's face was okay, and then he... So from here, he looks all right. There, his face turns black. Loses all the textures. It's just the face. Some of them, I guess, it's the face and the head. Rest of the head, fine, gone. I'm sure playing around with it, if you put enough effort and time into it, you could probably figure out what's causing that and fix it. But it's more than likely a DirectX issue because of the age of the game and... I think this uses DirectX 9, um, and I don't know that there was ever, or will ever be, a DirectX 9 for, uh, for ARM that's, like, out there. The only place we can go, yep, that's the only place we can go. So back to Cornet. The mouse keeps hitching like that. Probably again, age of the game. Because it doesn't do it in the actual windows. And I also noticed that the uh, recording I did of the previous uh, crossover video, the, uh, the screen was very, very small. So hopefully that worked out. I haven't actually edited it to see how it looks and try to stretch it out, but uh, hopefully it worked out okay because uh, I don't think I could re-record that. But anyway, this is uh, Parallels, and Parallels was also kind of a bear to record because this game, since it runs through a launcher, it, it doesn't advertise a very coherent window to record. And the way I'm playing it, uh, since I'm emulating it through a uh, through a launcher, it, it the window name isn't correct, so I have to record the display, and it doesn't want to record the display because uh, in this particular case, because I'm recording um, A full screen application while the Windows app desktop is running in the background behind it. So it gets a little confused. Uh, I have a feeling once we move on to some newer games, it will uh, will probably improve. That was some weird hitching. But this, this always is some rubber banding. Anyway, uh, much higher ping, 235. Probably more populated planet has higher ping rate. Still getting reasonably decent uh, FPS. And now my bandwidth is going up a little bit. Still 30 FPS. The draw distance I don't think is as high. So I think maybe that's got something to do with uh, maybe why the faces are showing up or why they're not. But if you uh, 
Oh, and one thing about in the crossover, the auto run hitting the num lock does not work. Uh, it's probably just needs remapped, but in parallels it does. Let's let's take our armor off. We don't need it. Come on, get up there. All right. So, as you can see, even my face doesn't display. So, texture problem, but by no means does the game have massive issues. And the, the graphics, although poor, do... Uh, do look okay here where they were a little bit jagged in the uh the crossover version of it still 30 fps let's go back to tatooine where there's a lot of people and see if we get drop frame rate there uh, there's a six so this game's not optimized at all it's it's not meant for that. So there's a lot of rubber banding. There's a lot of sync issues. There's a lot of uh, a lot of other massive major problems that have always occurred in this game. Uh, that texture should not be purple. I don't think. I don't ever remember it being purple. So probably some lighting issues. But hey, I figured for a first game to start with, this would be a this would be a good one. And we can move on from here and play some other things, preferably things you guys would request. Because uh, I know I, I I just there's games I want to play, so we're gonna play those, and we're gonna play some that have a native client, and some that have a Rosetta client, and some that are native and Rosetta, and. Um, some like this that are only going to run on uh, crossover and parallels. God, that's painful. Can easily select the wrong place. Off we go. I guess the only time the facial thing would really be a problem is if you really wanted to make an image designer. Because then you wouldn't be able to see the faces. But I don't know if you'd see them in a window. And, uh... It's kind of... Alright. So we, we got 30 FPS pretty consistently, except for a couple of dips running through... Coronet, which is a not unpopulated place, but not vacant. And you can see the game loads up fairly quickly. And we're already starting in at 29 FPS. And a lot of these places where the frame rate's dropping are places where the frame rate dropped on the live server pretty regularly as well. So I think it's just maybe zone or something crossing. Still 30 FPS. Some weird texturing here. That should not be like that. Should be more stuff, but not seeing it. Okay. Crowded room. Uh, rubber banded back out. All right, here we go.
14, a spike. Maintaining a decent frame rate, even even here. Let's walk over to where more people are and they're actually doing things. Okay, so now we're seeing some some hits. Twenty four. All the faces are gone. So we've got some light show here. Even that's not really hurting us too much. It's 26, 30. All right, so we've gone from unpopulated to populated. And we're not seeing much performance loss everything works except for the faces this is playable uh probably tune up the mouse a little bit uh once again i'm not spending a huge amount of time i just want to see how it works well with a basic default setup like what do you get out of the box um if it runs great that way awesome if it requires any special stuff going forward i'll tell you if i find it um but this is more just, okay, it, it, it works pretty well by itself. There's some fine tuning that probably still needs to be done, but that's something if this is your deal that you probably want to investigate. And at least you know now it works and it works really well on the M1 Mac. If you, uh, if you want to work out that face defect or you just don't care about it because you're probably going to be wearing armor, then you're okay. You can play this game, not a problem. Under parallels, under crossover, you're you're gonna need to work on that frame rate because it's it's really low, and it it really probably just boils down to the age of the application, the fact that there's a lot of things that need to be probably fixed to get it to work, whereas parallels is just basically running this on Windows, so. It's not emulating Windows, it's just Windows. Uh, even though it's Windows ARM and not uh, the x86 version or x64, whatever you want to call it, it, uh, it is still Windows. It does still have the same ability to load things. Um, even though I loaded some of those things that I thought would fix it in, in uh, just the basics like uh, DirectX and and the Vulcan stuff didn't help at all. It was it was still the same frame rate. It was still the same everything. Nothing nothing got any better. But this is this is one of those unsupported apps. It doesn't have a bottle for it in crossover. It doesn't have anything for it in 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 parallels either. But parallels was just a straight install. I installed the game. It started working, no problems. Uh, well, <laughs> one problem, but it's pretty obvious. And not game breaking. So I would say it probably is a, a pass on this one. This one works. Uh, the crossover one, probably not not playable. This one is. So if you if you want to play Star Wars Galaxies, uh, since we lost access to boot camp on the M1, you're probably going to need parallels in order to do it. Uh, there is no Mac client, so there won't be a uh, Rosetta or native uh, rendition of this. But uh, there is... Uh, We'll move on to something else and try another game. And like I said, if there's a game you want to see how it runs and you're, you're considering buying an M1 and you're not sure if you want one or not, you're not sure if you can handle it, uh, let me know in the comments and I will add it to my list and I'll see if I can get to it. I have a pretty large uh, Steam uh, list of games, uh, probably close to 4,000 now. So I got a lot of games I can I have access to from before when I streamed and, and made videos. So we could probably work something with that. Uh, there's a lot of games out there. Uh, I'm looking at a lot of the stuff that I like playing first because I want to make sure, I want to see if it works for me. If it works for me, then then I'm happy. If it doesn't, then I, I well, 
the, the M1 maybe wasn't what I needed to get. So anyway, I'm going to end this now. Uh, hopefully these videos stitch in correctly the way I want them to, but the, the resolution on that first one is probably going to be pretty horrible, so I apologize for that. It's just uh, this is a very difficult game to record, so hopefully it improves from there. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Uh, we'll be doing a new th another game, and uh, this one uh, is complete. Uh, if you have questions, ask below. I'll do my best to answer them, but as far as the install, I just did the basic defaults install and uh, did a little troubleshooting but not a, a lot uh, anything more than that would probably recover it and I am deleting the bottles for this now and deleting this off of uh, parallel so we can move on to the next thing uh, see you guys later thanks for watching